Welcome everyone! We are back with more Entry and Odyssey! And I did a lot. <laughs> a lot of grinding while farming. You might know that last week we tried to take on Blot and we didn't do too well. And then I got stuck because there were two bosses that I couldn't really beat on either side. So then we did quite a bit of farming on stream. Yeah, I started getting dull claws and the like. I, since then, over the week in any spare time I've been able to find, have done a ton of additional farming. I have acquired a lot more Entel money than I had before. I probably had just over 100k or something last time. I now have 450k. Uh, I also managed to unlock one of the quests. I also know that there is a monster that I didn't realize I could fight. It's a different one. There are a whole bunch of things that we can do that aren't necessarily what I was struggling on, thankfully. I also upgraded my entire team to level 80. So I feel like we have really good uh, chance of having decent content today. Uh, which may not necessarily include the stuff that I was struggling on. Which is really what I was hoping for and that was the ultimate goal. So... <laughs> I always forget that I have to check that because I have my own like man-made artificial soundboard type, type thing so like I can make sounds happen we can have adventures together like the adventures we're having um but I always forget about it I always forget about making sure they're off because if you have it on because the way it works is I have like sound files which are invisible to see but they're videos that are on on the stream um they've been chroma keyed out uh just pure green chroma keyed um so that when i make them visible the toggle is to make them visible or not except they're visible but they're invisible right so that i turn them on and then turn them off but if i leave them on even if they finished we can have adventures together if I just left, left it and then ended my cast and then didn't remember to turn it off again, when you come back, we can have adventures together. It happens again. So <laughs> that's what happens. Also, I need to blow my nose, so give me a second when I'm eating the mic. Okay. So, 452,000 Entel. That's a lot of Entel. Entel is the money in this game. Um, I also started getting a whole bunch of stuff and taking out a whole bunch of stuff. So I got a whole bunch of the yellow items all the way up to 10. It's not everything's up to 10, but most of it is up to 10. Now I start getting to lower ones. Only five bound tail. And all sorts of stuff. Singed Hoof, I found out how to get Singed Hoof. As well as a couple other things I found out to get that I didn't know how to get before my grinding, uh, farming, uh, off stream. Uh, Frozen Task. It was a lot of the same shit. I don't think it's necessarily content that people would care to watch too much. I'm usually not the kind of person to want to do this sort of thing off stream. But given the additional need to be able to make good content um, during the stream, instead of just being struggling, I felt it necessary to do for the past week. So I did. Um, but in addition, we have Kvasir's Tavern! Woo! And so far, I have had five quests for the longest time since the beginning, before the beginning, of the dungeon that we're currently on in all five floors. If I try to accept any more quests, you can't take any more quests. So I had to be stuck with these unless I wanted to drop one forever and I don't want to do that because I want to be able to beat them all eventually. Uh, I had to find one done. Thankfully, during my last grind session, I was able to get from one of the gather spots the magnetite for this. And now we're free to request again! Yeah! Woo! So, 
Kimitachi! Welcome back! That's exactly what he needed! You're really becoming a special item fetcher, aren't you? <laughs> you say that, Kvasir, but it took me ages to get that. Still, since this is a school project, shouldn't the, he have done all this work himself? I don't think his teacher would be happy if he said he just got invention to do it for him. Maybe I'm just overthinking things. I bet he only put in a request because his rich parents wanted to pay to someone to save them all the trouble. Mm. Besides, when I was a boy, I was interested in researching the fastest way to flip up a skirt. Now I'm just kidding. That's enough about my childhood memories. You want your reward, right? Here you go. Copper ingot, silver ingot. Woo! Ingot! We got it. We ingot it. Hmm. Hmm. Oh! No, 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 this is all good. This is all good. This is all fine. I, I was wondering, look how big the list is. Usually it's only these two. These are of the last floor that we've found. Every time you go to a new floor, but only after you've gone to a new floor, do you have the ability to unlock more quests. And those are the ones that are new. But these ones were unlocked before. I just never had access to them. So they should be, for me, I suppose, saying new, but they're not new, because I've never seen them before. And apparently one of them woo, is a new labyrinth! The members of my guild went into a newly discovered labyrinth and haven't come back. I'm not strong enough to go, so I need someone's help. Thank you so much, Mother Rufa. Yeah, last week suggested, have you been to the latest dungeon yet? Because you can even get it in a quest. And then I replied, oh, I haven't been able to get quests. So that's one of the big things that I was looking forward to, was hopefully being able to unlock this quest. But knowing which one, I don't know if it was going to be the, as clear as it apparently is. We are taking this quest. So I don't need to have to do any of the other ones, which I've always also found very difficult to be able to get. They've all been pretty damn difficult to get. You've accepted the task. <laughs> ah, yes, that request. Another small labyrinth we recently discovered. The island really is just covered in them. The Guild of Adventures went into a maze a while back. But they still haven't returned. One of their guildmates was a bit weaker than the others and got left behind. She's the one who put in the request to find them. Hmm? See that girl sitting over there? Looks like she's on the verge of tears. That's her! Good luck talking to her. You should go talk to her more info. Thanks. Thank you for giving me this. Why adventure? Oh, <laughs> you're the ones who accepted my request. Thank you. I'm not a very experienced adventurer yet, so my girl didn't take me a long time. It happens every so often. It's no big deal. But this time they've been gone for a while and come back yet. Can you go to the forest of the end and see if they're okay? Please! I'll be waiting right here for you all. Please, please find them for me. I didn't mean to do this. This is similar to what happens with me in Fire Emblem. I'm trying to advance the text instead I get the, the next thing. In, in Fire Emblem, it's when I was doing tutorials and it really infuriated me because I'd often waste points just because I wanted to get to the advanced next this happened again here I hate that shit <laughs> I can't stand it <laughs> it's so shitty why is it so slow I really do feel like the longer you keep this game on the faster menuing becomes and that's very weird Forest of the End can now be visited. See, last time I was in Sun Shrine, I mean, like, when I was with you guys, I was probably at Petal Bridge with the Dull Claws, right? But I've been doing all sorts of stuff, including this. And the last one I actually been in when I've been playing off stream was Sun Shrine. I mean, I've been on this game for a whole fucking year. I think it's about time to try and find a way to end it. I started playing it since it came out last February. Uh, Golden Gather Area. Firm, confirm the sightings of a Dino Tyrant. Challenge it. Um, I didn't realize that this was something different than I've never fought before. And who knows, this thing might even give me something useful for one of the quests, maybe. So, let's give it a go. Never fought this thing. This thing might well be scary. 
All right, whatever. We'll power break. Sure. Part of me doesn't want to. I don't want it. But yeah. Mm. I also don't have an analysis scope, do I? No, no, no. Oh, I see. You're that. That's very annoying. That's very annoying. That's what you are, huh? Fuck me. Oh, that's so annoying. Oh, that's so annoying. Did I mention how annoying that is? Uh... I love the music in this game. I can't get enough of it. Yeah, I can't prevent death. The death is what's gonna be the end of me. I've gotta kill this thing as soon as possible. I've gotta kill this thing as soon as possible. I'd love to be able to bind its head, but that doesn't seem to be working, so... Oh well. I also have no idea what elements it might be weak to, or if it's resistant to them, so we can't do them. I should really brought an analysis scope. That's fine. It's not great, but it's fine. I've really gotta kill this. Give me this. No, not that. That's less fine. Much less fine. I do love how I'm able to get that off. This thing is really bitch. Why did you go first? Why did you go first? Ah, uh, that's so annoying. I don't know why that went first. I used- I didn't use Falcon Slash, right? I used the other thing. I could die here. I mean, I expect to die, to be honest. My first chance, anyway. I really need to be able to not have to die every fucking turn. Uh, that'd really be nice. That'd be really nice. Please stop killing me. Please stop killing me. No, that's the worst one. That's the one I can't do. That is like game over right there. If it's anyone but Largo, it's fine. But with Largo gone, I can't revive anymore. 
I mean, I can, but it's dismal. I have to do this if I possibly can. Ah, oh, fuck. Fucking hell. But it's not gonna work because it sucks. Ooh. Yep, and that's why I can't not have Lago because she never fucking does her thing. Lago. I can't not have Largo. I can't not have Largo. Good, thank you. still in the game, believe it or not. I don't know how. But if Lago dies again, we're in trouble again. Yeah, we're in trouble. Hey, God, order. Good. Wow, that missed. I don't know how that missed. But we'll take it. Fuck, I'll take it, man. I'll take it. Missing with his goddamn shit, maybe. 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 Let's chaos it. I don't know if it's gonna work. I have no idea what is going to work. That was rubbish. I keep humming it and shit. 
Ikea. See, the fact that I get double damage, let alone whether I get the fucking thing or not. Maybe I should stop wasting my mana. Thing is, I do want to accelerate my mana. I do want to make sure that I'm using all of it. Because I need every little bit I can get. And the only trouble is, well, it's not the only trouble. The one big trouble is the death glare ruins my setup. I really hate that shit. Yeah, that's just saying. But if it's on Tressa, it's fine. It's not great. And also, it might be reason to actually, yeah. Uh, I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. Death Glare is a reason to do this. With Death Glare, I really need to be just, you know, chucking that out as quickly as possible. Which is not ideal, but it's what I need to do. Well, oh, that's not very helpful. I could, I could use it now. I could. Fucking use it, whatever. Mm, hey, one two punch, why not? I gotta be a little reckless and ruthless. Oh, by the way. No, not you. What are you doing? No, not this. This. Mm, ah. yes. I really have to do this as much as possible. It's not ideal. But given Death Glare. Because the thing is, you see, if you die, you lose your gauge. If I die, I lose my gauge. So there's no point in holding onto a gauge. Because I'm not going to be able to do anything with it. But I got nothing! I got nothing! I could get three extra hits, I got nothing. That's kind of bullshit. It's not gonna be workable. It's also why I really need to just like blow up my shit and use all my mana. Because it can die if I'm willing to use my mana for it. It definitely can die. But I'd like 1 2 punch to actually fucking proc anything at least. God damn. Instead of being garbage, which is what it was. Mm -hmm. Don't care. I do kind of care because Evan didn't get healed. Again, zero on that! Again! Again with the fucking zero on that. Dear God. It seems like its head is really resistant. Let's go back to low blow. That went pretty well last time. God orders on one. I've got to use that. I could, but I'll pass for a turn. Again, if she gets up to 100, if anybody gets up to 100, I have to just use it. Because fucking that left. Because Death Glare. 
It's also the reason why Logos mana matters more than anybody else's, because Death Glare. Death Glare is very annoying. <laughs> Gotta use it. Gotta use it. That's not good. I gotta keep. I keep. I gotta keep blowing up. I gotta keep blowing up. I gotta keep blowing up. Well, not actual blow, actually. Here I need a heal to get that extra health back. How's my stats? Attack and guard. Protect's on one and zero. Protect is better right now. That's really good for me. That right there was really good for me. Because that was before the revive, which was the weakest time for me. Now I get to heal up. But I have to, I have to just blow these. I don't like blowing them like this. I really don't, but it's way better than not getting them at all. The best way to win this fight is to kill that remaining HP. Face. Face, 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 face. Face, face is the place. This this fight is about face. 100%. That's my advantage. See, again, they only give me one. Give me all three. Zero, zero, one, that's awful. But we have the mana to burn out and kill it. Oh, slash level six. It's not great. Um, car circles on one blow again. I need attack order. Okay, good. That was really great. The fact that they can miss occasionally is really nice. But yeah, I just got. I'm just gonna burn my mana as quickly as possible. Dump it all in. Dump it. But again, the fucking one-two punches have been fucking terrible. Dear God, they've been awful. Let's try paralysis. I don't know if it's gonna work. Exactly what it is. Oh yeah, I made a mistake. I made a mistake. I've been talking about it, but I made a mistake. Okay, that's a better one. Yeah, give me two. I did make a mistake now. Trophy guy's down to one. I need to use that. Um, my mistake, as I've been saying this entire time, is not using that last time. God orbs at one. Okay, fair enough. That's a good one to use for the back row. Because this is where I get advantage from the back row. That's not ideal. We can live with it, but it's not ideal. Braver. We need a trophy guy here. Oh, so what are you doing? Will you give me the guard order? Guard right, right. Leave a trophy guy. Because the debuffs on my opponent don't don't come off because I die. Unlike say circles and shit and buffs. Uh oh. Did we go first? We didn't go first, did we? That's annoying. Oh, 
Alright. No circles on one. Blow. At least you have this. God orders back up. Okay, good. It's not Sonic Blown. That's good for me. That's really good. It hit Lago, but it didn't actually hit him. It missed. That's really important. Okay. We should have this. I kind of like Falcon Slash here on out. God Slash isn't that. Man, we're so close. God Slash here. God Break God Slash. This. Trough Guy's at 6, but to be honest, I kind of just want to make another circle and throw it in. <laughs> God Slash is at 1. God damn. I do like an attack order right now. Nice! That was good. That's a fine time to use that. That's fine. That's okay. I don't mind that. That's okay. I wonder. Hopefully this is slower than this. It would be great if it is. Although... There's two choices now because he's got his fucking power up. But I'll pass a turn. One turn. It, this could be death for me, to be honest. <laughs> if everything goes horribly. If I'm wrong, and so on, so forth. Uh, no, I can't attack. Um, I can't blow either. Okay. Um, protect order is needed. No, no, no. Protect order, please. Okay. This could go, this could go horribly for me. Okay, good, it went in the right order. That's important. So that was good, Falcon Slash. Use this now. Man, I'm tempted. <laughs> it kills Wufan outright, but I'm fucking tempted. Especially because we're so close anyway. And like our attack damage, like... Uh, I'm so tempted. I'm so fucking tempted. It will kill her. <laughs> I'm really tempted. The what it up! I got nothing again. So annoying. Okay, cool. Perfect. Perfect timing. Good, good, good. This is exactly what I wanted. I got paid for being patient. Thank God. I swear to God, I, I, if, if she didn't have lost her, her uh, curse, I would have just thrown her. To kill this thing. I mean, it's got death blow. That would have killed her. That's annoying. Do everything we can to- uh, Did I still not get any fucking procs on that? Are you serious? You know what? It's so late. It's just you follow blow. Um... Again, just throw a circle out there. A cheap one. Why not? Well, what if we can get sleep? We may be able to get sleep. Uh, God order is important, but what is more important is keeping these two alive. Turns is more important. Okay, turn. <sighs> Annoying. Oh, Tressa didn't die. How did Tressa not die to that? What the fuck? Actually, like this. This place. We know the order is correct. Breather here. She's got max. Fantastic. Use this. Blow. Um. Attack order. Sure. Perfect. No, if I got it missed. Because <laughs> apparently that was not the right order. Anymore. I don't know why the order changed. 
We're fine. Uh, no, Falcon Slash. We win. Woo! Yay! Favorite JRPG, guys. It's pretty awesome. We win. First try. Bone plate. 107,000 EXP. Good, good, good. Discover new monster. Discover new item. Let's say. Okay. That that death guy was obnoxious. But I knew what I needed to do to beat it. When when something has auto kill, things like force gauge, you can't save them. Like, saving them for what? To dine and lose it all? It doesn't work. So, I don't know if we were over leveled for that, but it seemed like a good fight. <laughs> yeah, I'm questioning whether we were over leveled. Some people are like, we're really under leveled! Like, I heard fucking on Fire Emblem, like, there was a streamer that was one-shotting every fucking thing, including the Death Knight. We're under there when I was just like... Never say anything again! How dare you! I was just so frustrated. Because it's like so ridiculous how fucking pussy people are. They can't t take any form of challenge whatsoever. Even when there's absolutely no challenge to speak of, they're still gonna say they're under level. They're gonna literally make the worst, horrid, tactical errors, throw people in when they really shouldn't be, get punished for it, and not even really get punished for it. He never actually got punished. He almost got punished, but never actually got punished. And people are gonna call it fucking under Ah, <sighs> It's just such a slap in the face for anyone who's actually good at strategy. Yes, I'm good at strategy. Uh, it's so annoying! I hate it. Anyway, what are we doing? <clears throat> the dungeon, yeah? I was, I was livid. I was absolutely fucking livid when I was <laughs> like, are you kidding me? The newly discovered labyrinth flies before you, its entrance making you the step inside. According to the word adventurer, her guild is still living in the labyrinth. If you enter the labyrinth with such a clue, that will lead you to the lost guild. Because in no way, shape, or hell was that even close to oh, under leveled. Not even. Not even by any stretch. Very much over leveled. I wonder if I was over leveled for that fight. Because technically, I shouldn't be just able to beat it like that. Just through pure brute force and tanking. Whatever. Like, I don't mind people who want to play on lower difficulties. I don't mind people not wanting a challenge, although I personally love a challenge. I don't mind that. But don't you dare fucking call it under leveled. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> unless, unless they're not doing any damage, which basically weren't, honestly. No damage at all, then it's under leveled. You have to be cakewalking everything for it not to be un- Are you fucking serious? Such a slap in the face. Fucking grow a pair of balls and understand what, you know, strategy is first before you say something like that. <sighs> Whatever. sort of dungeon, the barren wastes. 
This car's round, right? We don't really need to do this right now. We can go back this way. That might go around, that's unlikely. I don't see how it really can. Unless it's just the same way, of course. So presumably we're going to fight new monsters here, which would be nice. And hopefully they'll drop stuff that I need for quests and shit. Whoa. Is this a event? No, it's a fight. Ah, it's a deer. Deer me. I need to move this. Mystical warrior trained in advanced magical arts. No one has ever seen one attack by monster. I need the Magatama, that's for sure. Firestorm's obnoxious. I don't know what the other guy's gonna do. Firestorm hits all no matter whether it's back row or front row, right? Let's deal with that. Oh, it could cost its head. What's it weak to? Poison? No, not really. But poison's nice. Sure. Well, if that's all you're gonna do, dear, then you are useless. Okay, this is easy. That's the problem. No, at least you got poison. No, 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 no. Oh, no. I mean, to be fair, I don't really need to do this. But I'm doing it anyway! Um... Oh, I can just charm mine. Fuck it. I'll, he I'll, 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 I'll attack that though. I'll charm mine. And I'll guard all the back row. <laughs> That's a better attack. Alright, that was obnoxious. <sighs> Maybe I should just kill this first before anything. I have a feeling I want to do this. Whatever, God order. Kill it, Logan. Okay. Eh. What the fuck? No items. I. Uh, you discovered you monster golden deer. Golden deer. <laughs> nice. Nice. Speaking of! Yeah! It was that stream. Some fucker said under level. You bloody kidding me. Actually, after I killed the entire, I suppose they're all gonna be difficult fucking fights now. I'm sorry, what? It vanishes? Oh no! I don't want to deal with something that vanishes. Oh no! This is like that goddamn um, chameleon king. That is obnoxious. Ah, uh, so annoying. 
Then it back comes back up. You? Sounds horrible. This thing looks absolutely disgusting. Yuck. So what, if I'm still looking at it, then it stays aw um, available? All right. What are you made of? Yellow, huh? I can deal with this thing? That thing is grotesque. June Prowler. Yo, on my health? Fuck. It's not good. Nice. I'll take that. <laughs> I thought your head might be important, given that seems to be the only thing that has horrid claws coming out of it. See, I love that! Use your head! Um, and understand what is probably going to be effective. And you can probably figure out what the hell you need to do. Just, you know... Use your head. Poison, potentially. Unless I get the process. I don't mind if I get both. It's a bit of a shame, but it's no big deal. Is this not hard because it's yellow? Because so far we're doing a fantastic job. Maybe I should just go guard slash. Fuck it, let's go guard slash. This thing isn't doing anything to me. Oh, I might as well want to punch. Should I just go guard? Uh, I don't know, man. Yeah, I really should. Especially if I'm gonna... I, I, the only thing that I can do offensively as a buff, because that's one of the things I love about my team. My, my number one reason why I love my team is it can literally go for infinite. With the right setup, I can go for infinite. Because with Largo's ability to give us mana back, Wufan and Evan can get mana themselves, can generate mana, especially if they're lucky, especially in Wufan's case. Evan guaranteed can get mana back. Wufan can get mana back if she's lucky. If, if, like, she has a favorable matchup, she can do her, you know, effects with her circles, she gets mana back. She can definitely generate mana. Largo can generate mana with the help of others to everybody. Um, yeah, so technically I go for instance, but one of the other things I really like about my team is that I have a really nice distribution between... Again, zero on that! What the fuck? Oh. A really nice distribution... Um, how much health does this fucking thing have? Um, like, maybe 30k? I don't know. Um, between... Debuffs and buffs. Like, I have... Charmai, Power Break, Power Slash, or Strength Slash. If I need to weaken its offense, I can give the maximum effect without anything wasted and left behind on debuffs. If I'm trying to weaken its defense, I have Guard Slash, Guard Break, and Atrophic Eye. So those three can replace the offensive three if I want to switch up gear and be offensive. You know, I'm very, I have a team that's very versatile for being able to just kind of like gear the stage exactly how I want it. Because I have exactly three people, Largo, Tressa, and Wufan, no more, no less, who can each debilitate power, defense, and in, in Tressa's case, speed, but in the other two, not so much. But you know, power and defense, attack and defense, which is really useful. Um, I want a Falcon Slash here, so then she goes first, so then I gain the mana back. That's another thing. Making sure that Tressa goes first with a stronger move also allows me to then make more use of what I'm doing. 
and get more mana back. Because if he, if, if Logger's gonna be able to get 12 mana back for everybody, and I only need six to be full, I wanna use five before he does that. I don't know why I'm buffing Charmo. Whatever. It lost everything, really? Yeah, it's annoying. It's fine now. We'll just go back to our... You see, that's what I mean. Like, we can switch things up. Now that he's... This enemy is out of both paralysis and bind, I can switch things back to being regular and not waste mana. If I feel that's a, a worry. And then I can start trying to do arm breaker again. My team is very good at that. Which is a really cool thing to be good at. There's the arm break. Woo! <laughs> That's so good. Hell yeah. It's back. Mm, I like that. I could switch Wufan's place. I could. Don't really care to. But I could. Really? That's annoying. I only got one? Nah. My luck is horrific. I hate luck. <laughs> I really do hate luck in game. <laughs> Ah, uh, it's the only thing that fucking screws me over is horrid luck. It's so bad, it ruins me so much. Like, how, how low is Tani's fucking Crocs on that goddamn thing? Max out, by the way. Pretty much. Maybe one less because of mana. Um... How fucking little have I got? You can get up to three additional hits every single time. And I'm getting zeros and zeros and zeros and the occasional one and maybe the rare two and then zeros and oh, fuck's sake. Hi. You can get head, arms, legs. Good, eh? Head, leg. Not bad. I'll take it. Oh, that's what that can do, huh? That's annoying. But it's weak to them? Is that how what we're dealing with? Something that has auto renew, but it's still weak to things? Because I can deal with that. I would really like poison on you, but I, it looks like poison's not gonna work. If poison's not gonna work, then fuck it. Whatever. I don't know what works since I don't have an Narcissus I don't have Libra. And I love that. See what happened? Nargo has a passive that means that he has the ability to afflict ailments, a certain set of ailments, just naturally, from regular attacks. Um, which is what he just did. We have panic setting in. But you see, this is also shows you why I really didn't like fighting that last thing. Hey, look at that! Aw. We're not getting it. We don't need it, but we're not getting it. The only thing is, it's got quite a bit of health. Whatever. Conserve your mana for now. Let's, let's get mana back. Eight. Pay two, gain eight. This thing is very annoying. 
This does keep doing it. And panic is not setting in. I really need to time it so that I get the most value out of it. I can't just be doing it willy-nilly. And of course it's gaining resistance to it as the fight goes on. Do I, do I really care to keep having that? I really don't. <laughs> Ooh, what the fuck? Just like that, it takes it all away. Yeah, I mean, I, I'm supposed to expect that that was going to happen. Okay. Goddamn. There was no way in hell I was going to know that that was going to happen. No way at all. That's the first time I've seen it. Oh, because I don't have a circle up? Oh, God. That was insane damage out of nowhere. That is horrific. That is horrific. Okay. The entire fight has changed on its head in one one fell swoop. <sighs> that that move is disgusting. supposed to do about that we beat the dire tyrant first try that is that is not something I am capable of beating I when it did that up to that point it was easy as heck then it does that, and that's the busted as hell thing. I po I I can't beat that. And I wasn't even able to change up my strategy to be a little more defensive after that point. I never had Lago again to do strength slash or anything. I mean, that kind of fight requires me to be very ultra defensive, because that that's impossible. Uh, it's like, ha, huh, you're laughing, huh? Yeah, because you didn't do that! Why would I fucking know about- Oh my god, I should've left. I fucked up. Thank god, at least they're kind. Oh, I see. Oh... Uh... That move is absurd. That move is absolutely absurd. We first tried Dynatine, but that move is fucking absurd. I have less chance of beating that unless it never does that. The only way I, I only have a chance of beating that thing is if it never does that move. Um. That really sucks. Uh, 
No, am I wrong? Was I wrong to think that the fight was easy up to that point? Since it bloody well was. Mm, that's annoying. We can try and pursue the other way, but I, 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 what? That's unfortunate. Oh well. Is there, is there supposed to be a way around that garbage with that fucking needle? I mean, it has a ton of health as it is. It wasn't dying quickly. At least the Dino Tyrant was dying relatively quickly. That wasn't dying quickly at all. But I was like fine until that moment. Impossible. It's like the lion. The sleeping lion does nothing until it finally chooses to actually attack and you're dead. Uh, whatever. Well, I have to go this way, huh? If if I'm supposed to progress past this dungeon, I have to beat this thing. How absurd. I see. That's actually a help, in a way. Because it's underneath that. I'd rather leave. I can't fight everything. Thankfully, we can leave for out of ease. Ah, that's not what I meant. Fuck. Although, that is fine. That's fine. It's not what I meant, but it's fine. Wow, okay. Because, like... A big thing about Etrian Odyssey is, usually when you first find e FOEs, sure, you can try, but often they're not beatable until you've already beaten the dungeon. So, like, it's kind of like a two-part game. The first half is puzzles, where you try to avoid all the FOEs, and then the next part is actually beating the FOEs. Usually. That's that's my experience with it. As you explore the labyrinth, you discover a damaged bag discovered before the door. Perhaps it's turned as attacked by monsters. This bag may belong to one of the missing guild members. You take the bag, wrap it in cloth, and place it with other belongings. Scratch that bag. You examine the door, but unable to open it. It appears to be locked. You decide to turn to the tavern and show the word adventure the bag you found. Oh, really? Well, I can't really go back to the tavern with this thing in my ass. I mean, I, I would. And I mean, maybe I can do it like that. No. No, I can't. No way. Whoa! But yeah. That's a lot about this game. A lot about this game is not being able to defeat the FA. But I mean, because it was yellow circle and not red, you see that yellow circle around it? Examine the door, but I must open it. It appears to be locked. So I just turn the tab and show the word adventure bag. You fucker. So they died to this fucking thing, didn't they? Lovely. 
They didn't have a stupid thing and they died to him. So my only answer to this, which is fine-ish, kind of, is to do this. Oh really? You're not gonna in attack me? That's weird. Because I thought I thought he'd encounter me on that, but he didn't, which is fine by me because I'm just leave. I can't beat that thing. I can't beat that thing. I mean, what the fuck? I'm fine to fight these. I would like the item from you. Blindness, leg bound, sleep. Paralysis. Paralysis is good. Sure. No, not that. This. Um. Yeah. Oh god. Oh really? Paralyzed from Lager. <laughs> Funny. Oh. I want longer to regular attack because it's quicker. Potentially. I should really just dismiss heal. That's the safe bet. Nice. Now I wish I hit in the background. Not that it matters because we're about to leave. Well, I mean, what can I do? I can do Falcon Slash here. I can... No, not do that. I can Strength Slash back. I can... Whatever, we'll do it close. Sure. Attack like that. You see what it can do? You see what it can do? That's what it can do! But I've been getting zeros the entire time. That's luck. My luck is shit. It's always shit. Absolute shit. Nothing but shit luck for me. Every time. I mean, yes, there's the occasional time where I can just demonstrate that it went better, but the percentage overall in any game I play is always shit. It's just how it is. And it sucks. I really hate it because it's literally costing me my life. And I know some people don't know well, it's just a typical excuse, you know. Everybody says that. Yeah, but not everybody goes for it. I'm sorry, it's absolutely true. It's absolutely true. I would be so much more successful in life, in everything, if I didn't have the rotten fucking curse of luck that I had. And that example there, you saw how many times that I was doing one-two punch and never getting anything to follow up. Like the Dino Town especially. And then, that's what can happen. Fucking headbine after the, the initial hit, then a corkscrew, then, like, arm and leg or whatever, I don't know if it was both. Was it both? It might have been both. That's what can happen. Just like, I'm a good enough streamer, and I could be successful, but my luck is fucking horrid, and I never get anywhere. It's the truth of it. I'm not trying to glam it up. That's the fucking truth of it. That's the truth of my life. It's horrid. And I know, it's like, 
Oh, you're just saying that like anyone else. No, because nobody else goes through what I fucking go through. I swear to you. I swear to you. But, you know, you can only do so much to convince anyone about that. But well, it's fine. I mean, it's what it is. I can't change it. But there you saw. When I kept complaining about how she never follows up. That's what she could do. And that is entirely luck. I can't change how often she gets to do that. I can try and add stats and whatever. Bear in mind, anything you add, there's always something to take away. Kind of like card games. Yeah, you can add this card, but you're going to lose something else. You know? And there's really anything I can do to make that better. Like, I don't, is, is a weapon even luck-based? It might be luck, it might be TP. It's TP. But, like, what's the best luck-based fucking uh, thing I have available? Toxic Comet, which isn't what I'm interested in. Wisdom, that doesn't help. Where's the best luck one? This one. I could potentially do that for a cost of 15 attack. Sl slightly less because I'd be able to buff it, but it's not as strong as Druid Fist. 10 attack. 10 attack loss for losing quite a bit of TP and getting luck instead. That might help. Still probably wouldn't do too much. Am I supposed to lie about my life? That is my life. Because I know it's the kind of thing that turns people away. It's like, ah, you're just saying that. It's fucking true, man. It's true. Look at my four years. Look at other people's four years. It's true. My luck stinks. And I should deserve to be a lot more successful in anything that I do than I am because I'm crippled by it. I mean, the, the fucking evidence is there. It just needs to be collated. But I, I feel like whenever I say this sort of stuff, it's just, you know, people aren't going to listen, aren't going to actually appreciate the truth of it, and instead just think I'm just yapping on like any anyone else. Which is horrific. Because I know it's more than that. But anyway. Um... I know, it sounds crazy, especially someone who's very much scientific, from a science background, at least my parents, I didn't do as well as them. You know, it sounds crazy to think that randomness doesn't average out and yada yada and, so, and that there's, there's a fate or whatever involved in life. Uh, not that I necessarily believe in fate, specifically, but luck doesn't average out for everyone. There are people who are lucky in this world, there are people who aren't. The majority of the world is a lottery. You're either lucky or you're not. You not. Life is a lot more about whether you got lucky than whether you're worth it. 100%. So the, the way things turn out, it's the data in front of me. Except I don't have it readily available, and, except for moments like this. Um, what else can I do? Oh yeah, I need to go back to the stupid adventure. Okay, well, that works. No, 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 no. Huh? Spirit Arata, huh? Man, this spotted hands have one crazy sounding skill. It drastically reduces an entire rose will to a fight by lowering their physical and mental attack power. You'll have to come up with some sort of countermeasure if you want to stay in the game. Yeah, like elements. Um... I thought I was supposed to... Oh, there we go. So did you find them? Oh my god, but it's okay! This is... Yes, this is one of their bags. It's so beat up. Then that means they... Hmm? What's this? It looks like a key. Was there a locked door in the labyrinth? Maybe this is the key that goes to it. I'm sorry to ask more of you, but could you take this key and head back to the labyrinth? Oh, you meant must be the door of this key. I'll even increase your reward. Please, I'm counting on you. 
Okay. Why did we just take the key out of the bag? I don't understand. Hello? Well, that's why often I say the only thing I have left is my dignity. I can't win. Not in this world. But at least... I know that. I know it's not my fault. But, uh, yeah. I still don't have the fucking item off you. Still don't. Especially after that. Speak to electric, but it doesn't matter. Lovely. Now I kind of don't need the circle no more. Punch is slower than, uh, you know, Largo's Strength Slash, but individual binds are faster. So I'm gonna go for an individual bind. I'm gonna go for something that I haven't done yet. Well, I should do arm breaking. Nah. supposed to just you know hush about it and not say the truth because people won't listen okay <laughs> bullshit can I get the item please thank you it's got a new item golden pal But I swear to fucking Christ, it's not a fabrication, it's the truth. My luck is garbage and has literally crippled my life. And I'd be so much more successful without it. You know, or with someone else's luck. Anyone else's, pretty much. Mine is absolutely the worst. And I'm supposed to just like, you know... Yeah! I'm wrong about that. First of all, but now you press the key for that turn. Yeah, sure. You can try the key into the hall and give it a hard push. The key slides into the opening and the door opens and quite rumble. The obstacle removed from your path, you may now proceed deeper into the maze.
Lovely is the number one. That's how you do it. Okay. And these things don't care about the sand at all. They don't get moved by it at all. But I mean, you know, expecting me to keep hush about the shit that literally is ruining my life. It's kind of unfair. Um... It's like this. It going first actually helped me. I don't know. That's what you do? Ooh. That's ugly. I wish I could have concussed it. I wish I could get that fucking thing to work. to kill it. Nice. I mean, you might as well. You might as well as well. As well as well as well. Ah. Uh... Rally Order was actually brought in the first time I saw this kind of move back in the uh, Southern Shrine. to be fucking afflicted. Even your affliction cannot be appreciated. At least if I fucking had no legs, people would appreciate it. All I get is laughter. It's <laughs> I, what I say is absolutely fucking true. It's been my case the entire life. I've had 30 fucking years of it. I know it exists. People don't want to fucking listen. <sighs> Camouflage Fang, Sandfish Eye. Doesn't matter how much I suffer for it. Doesn't matter how many years I've been doing what I do for it. Doesn't matter whatever. My luck is crippling my fucking life more than anyone else in the world could ever know.
And for that, I, 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 I have to, you know, just accept that shit and not have to be upset about it and tell people to fucking listen. It's very frustrating. There's two of them now? This is not good. I can't kill them. I cannot kill them. Do I have an Ariadna? I don't. Means I have to do this. I have to go back manually. I really should have taken the Ariana. That's my fault. See that? Not checking the Ariana? That's my fault. I'm not against that. That's fine. That's not the kind of thing I'm talking about. Other people would be upset about that and they'd be like, oh, damn it. Bleh. I'm like, yeah, no, that makes sense. But what doesn't make sense is getting screwed by things that aren't that. keep fighting and try to show and demonstrate what I'm talking about and so that people can actually listen and not just think that I'm talking bullshit Sell those golden pelts. New items available. They don't show you because I don't actually have access to them yet, so it's something that requires two golden pelts or something like that. Golden pelt and the camouflage fan. I actually can sell that. Later. There we go. Now it will show me. Exactly. That's how it works. Nana Gayoka no. Um, hmm. Four. Uh, magic defense. I'm gonna have to try and see if I can puzzle my way through this. If not, I'm gonna have to use an area and a friend to get out of here. And try again, maybe. This is one of the few other things I can do instead of trying to fight Blot again. Oh, that was wrong. Whatever. 
There's that. I need to make sure I do this right thing. So I'm trying to concuss its head. But the most important part is to rally this. Alright. That made it a lot easier. And that was good and great, whatever. That was really good luck. I don't not appreciate the good luck. I just know that it is outweighed in everything. Not just this guy. That doesn't mean I don't get good luck too. I know, it's like, the more good luck I get, the more it looks silly that I complain about it, but it's, it's real. Absolutely real. Even though that was really good. See, that would have been better if they were both in the same one, but it's, again, negligible. Both that good luck and the bad luck were both negligible. It's a tiring subject, I think. So I probably shouldn't talk about it. Flash fangs, preferably. No items, sure. Hello. Yeah, I did some work yesterday. I always try and be as productive as possibly can. Even though I naturally am not the kind of person who likes being productive, I kind of see it as a challenge. Um, but that means that I'm always like satisfied when I do something productive. And it kind of works in a weird kind of underhanded way whereby I and sometimes I'm more productive than one might expect because I find it enjoyable that I'm able to surpass what I would rather not do. <laughs> Especially if it's in a field something that I enjoy. If it's a field that I don't enjoy then chances are I'm not going to do it. But because it's streaming and it's work for streaming then it's a lot easier because it's something that I actually enjoy doing. Um, even though Again, there's a difference between enjoying the activity and enjoying doing work. But um, besides that point, uh, I managed to make uh, the f preparations for the Sunday celebration stream. And we hit 600 yesterday, and I was very, very happy about that. Um, which was wonderful. So, I should be able to, to go Sunday, and we'll be probably streaming Pokemon Conquest. I think it's almost certain now that I will be choosing that. It, 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 it won out because the only other vote that equaled it was Other, but like I say, nobody seems to get that in order to choose Other, the, the vote has to be, and it's written in my blurb underneath, like in the challenge of one section, you have to 
be explicit about what game that other is, not just any old thing. And it needs to be one of the games, like all the other choices, that I've already played and I'm going back to to do like extra content on. Because that's what, as far as content is concerned, what the challenge on challenge of ones are about. They're about going back to doing extra content, whether that's DLC, like the Cuphead one, whenever that comes out, like whether that's just post-game stuff, of a game that I've already beaten, not just anything, right? As you proceed through the maze, you spot a badly injured adventurer slumped against the door. Hey, could you get the medicine out of my bag? He doesn't appear to have the strength to retrieve it himself. He retrieves the medicine from his bag and begins to treat his injuries. Thanks. I think I can move now. Damn you, fiend. I'll get you next time. You tell him you've accepted the request from his guildmate. His expression twists with grief. I see. She asked you to find us, huh? Unfortunately, everyone else is dead. He explains that his guild was attacked by a Dune Prowler. Yeah, and took heavy damage. And no fucking shit. I can't deal with them. One person distracted it while the others fled through the door. Like a goat. But they ran straight into a powerful Lamia who slaughtered them all. Or, sl or Lamia. I'm the last one left. It's up to me to kill that Lamia. I've got to avenge their deaths. This is all steeled. He stands and passes through the door, intent on proceeding further into the maze. You cannot abandon him now, and decide to follow him. Yeah, follow! Um... Yeah, so I managed to set that up. Which means... Working on the overlay... And the specifics for it. Oh, okay, cool. Proceed. Okay. That's good. We got that. So Lamia is the boss in this area? Huh? Interesting. Ah. Okay. Oleander, which I don't need. And I don't want. All right. All right. One hundred twenty-four damage. Well, that didn't work. And that didn't gain hail either. Either. Evan didn't get healed. That's not great. Um. Poison resistance, yeah. Can't. Nerve circle is probably best. Attack order is fine. I could protect order, but I'll rather attack order. Ow. Good. Nice. That went well. That turn went much better. That went. That turn went about as well as I could ask. I mean, I can Falcon Slash this, attack here, go for an Arm Breaker, uh, sure. That's unfortunate. Whatever. Sure. 
sure. Just attack. No. Kata kata. We got golden pelt. Good. Can't remember if I need verdant cloth or not. All this shit can go. All the forest alive. That's not what I wanted. Uh, the shortcut will not be revealed if I fucking do it now and lose. So we're going to do this. If that is the boss behind there. It might not be. I'm gonna say first. Because I'd rather keep that shortcut. The, the map data will be there, but the actual shortcut won't be if I die. I almost certainly will. But we have to check it out. Where it all turns to sand. I think it's hideous. Oh, great. Really? Well, I better do this. That's how I survived that. I won't fight it, actually fight it, but I will deal with it in terms of power break, leave, concuss head, charm eye, and leave. And then we'll try to leave everybody out. Bloody hell, how is it? That's really cool and all, but... No, not that. Cool, just for the oven to run. So now we're safe. There's a passageway. It's not gonna be complicated things like this. Well, grab a invisible form for you. How it appears impassable from this side. There's gonna be a whole bunch of these. This is very indicative of like the second floor in the actual dungeon. Where there was like a ton of this stuff. I believe it was the second floor. A lot of it is first floor and second floor stuff. In the real dungeon, in like the barren ways. Cause like all that June shit and the movement, that's very first floor, but no, none of the other floors really. 
and then all these like passages with the fanned crop whatever that yellow thing is that's very second floor we'll go this way because it seems to be going back up which is really weird Oh, that's why. Good. Hopefully this will give us something nice, like a Cullinan. That would be great. Oh. This is where we not do that. Where we do... This. Dried peach tree. Dried peach tree is decent. So make our way forward. This is definitely the haunted mansion dungeon. Interesting that they chose to give us a another one. Do they do that one for each place? I don't think they do. Maybe they do. Maybe they do. Maybe there is one for each place. Each dungeon. Apart from the shrines. Because there's several of the shrines already. There might well be a, a sub dungeon. For each of the non. Uh, shrine areas. But it's also my understanding that my luck is horrid that. In a weird, fucked up way, makes me more determined and dogged than most. Mainly because I know there's nothing better for me. I don't have the hope that others do that there's anything better for me. Like, what's the point in giving up on something that you at least enjoy? But no, you're not really getting what you deserve out of it. Compared to doing something you don't enjoy, but won't get what you deserve out of it. You're just losing out on doing something you enjoy at that point. Whereas if you have the feeling that, oh, I could be spending my time elsewhere much more productively and get a much better result, then you're much less likely to want to keep doing something that isn't giving you the results you want. Now, granted, we are improving as a channel and we're getting more people to help support and yada yada, but you look at after four years, most channels where they end up and you compare that to this one, which is also almost coming up to four years. As an example. But it's a weird fucked up way, isn't it? Most people, they give up on something because they believe they're to be better elsewhere. I don't. Because I know my luck is trash. <laughs> you know? It's not really the way one would expect to want to go about being tenacious, but that's actually kind of what builds my tenacity, is the fact that I have absolutely no hope of anything ever happening good in my life. Which, yeah, it's unfortunate, but there we go. That's the truth of it. It really is. It's weird, but that's the truth of it. If I actually thought I should go do something else. That would be a worthwhile use of my time. I would get a much better result than I probably would have given up streaming a long time ago. I don't. I don't. I don't agree that that is a real thing.
Okay, the hail. I don't want to do that. Suppose just defend then. Ceiling is actually effective. That's we Especially when you consider that only the last year, apart from like one day. Did I see reason that I never had before for pursuing and continuing? Like, in the last year, the, the channel has received followers and supporters and subscribers to the channel. Regular ones, not just the occasional thing. That is incredible. So eventually, perhaps you do get somewhere. But the pace, the actual, like, rate of it is garbage compared to anyone else. But I don't expect to get treated better, because that's my that's my experience with, with life in general. The only the only parts of my life that get treated better are because my parents are wonderful. My parents are amazing. I won the lottery in that one. I won't lie. But everything else, anything that's like made from me myself, it's garbage. Absolute garbage. And then to feel like I can't express that because people won't listen and believe it frustrates me even more because it's like at least if you have broken leg then you know it's there nobody can deny that but people will always deny this no matter how much proof and how much work you put into it and then that's also more motivation for why I have been pursuing this particular thing which I know I already enjoy as much as I have because how much is enough how much is enough how many years how much work how much consistency how, mu how much is enough to people fucking understand that life is not fair at all and that some people have horrid luck that is an absolute fucking curse and never really get anywhere compared to where they should be but that like that's part of my motivation is actually to like show here here, would you accept this? Would any partnered broadcaster, any one of those people accept this? And that's not just in streaming. It's just streaming is, like I say, one of the few things I've found in my life that I actually enjoy doing and putting work into. I've tried doing work in other things. I didn't enjoy it so much. So I didn't want to pursue it. When I realized that it wasn't for me, that I wasn't going to get anywhere, I didn't want to pursue it. Because I didn't enjoy it, for the most part. So There's a whole, a whole combination of issues, of factors. But definitely, it, at the heart of it is, look at this shit. Why do I have to live like this? There are good parts of my life, don't get me wrong, obviously. But at the end of the day, that's still a thing. It's very much a thing. Why? But whatever. Yeah, that's whatever. I don't, I don't mean to be miserable about it, but that that is everything I do. Until I see reason for it not to be in what I do, that is in everything I do. Because that has been my experience. It's not something I was born with. I wasn't like come out of, you know, come into life and then uh, here I am. I'm gonna be miserable as heck. No, I wanted to be positive, but then I saw what the world gave me and realized that, that wasn't a possibility. Apart from my parents, which is why I always want to say that I always am grateful for the things that are good in my life. Especially because that only adds to my strength of 
showing why the other shit is garbage. Because I'm capable of appreciating what is good in my life. If I wasn't capable of appreciating what was good in my life, you could argue that everything that I say is null and void because, well, if you can't appreciate the good, then you're never going to appreciate anything. I can. And I make a concerted effort to do so. Because I believe it really does hammer it home. You know? <laughs> then there's no room for, for argument. Because I am, like, capable of that. That's not what I wanted to do. That's a horrid place that's blocking me from anything I want to do. Okay, whatever. It's fine. I don't technically need to go this way, necessarily. I don't know. I don't know if I do or not. I'm just walking out the map at this point. Try and do the things, but we'll see whether we get them. I really want to do God Order, I don't want to do this half one. Oh no, I should do Rally Order because that fucking stupid dog. Damn. Uh, there it is. I should always remember to do that first. I really should low blow that guy. Now my strategy for this fight is not correct. I love how you don't gain any health for that buff. I mean, I don't love it, but it does intrigue me. Thankfully these things don't hit particularly hard. Yeah, after that. I'm gonna have to guard order again. Alright, now I can finally breathe. Losing quite a bit of mana on Evan. I have to go to this corner. It's like, this isn't where the boss is. Oh, not the boss, but this isn't where, uh, yeah, this isn't where the land lamia is. This isn't where the boss is. Unless I have to go round a weird fin part on the left hand side. Whatever, we'll go back. Here goes nothing. I really don't want to fight this thing. At least he's moving to the side. Fuck. Shit. <laughs> 
Well, there's value in coming here. So we'll take it. I really want Lago in the back row. I'm not fighting this thing. I'm trying to make sure that I survive it. And leave it. The cool thing about this game is I can now move to the left if I get to leave. I move first. They, we move at the same time, but I move first. And then if I occupy a space, he moves back, and I get to do this. Which means I can move forwards. Where's my objective? Ah, oh, damn it. Are you serious? Oh my god. Oh, that works. Uh, only briefly. Lovely. to do with this I get through here and escape again but I mean we're just doing the same thing in circles over and over again I want to go back where we were God damn. Not good. I don't know how to navigate this room. I honestly have no idea how to navigate this room. Which might mean that we just have to try and beat this. Going there is not harmful. Ah, oh, this room. I need to somehow get on the other side of him. Okay. I screwed up. I screwed up. I screwed up. Thank God. I I I, I have I have some understanding. My God.
Hmm. So obnoxious. Cuss this fucker's head. something weird. It's like that, isn't it? That's how I did it. Then I have this shit that I don't know what to do. Oh my god. How do you even... something weird about that. I don't, I don't get that. Fuck. Did you see I can't get on the other side of this? How, how without fighting this thing can I get through? three of them.
There's really three. There's really three of them. There really is. Oh, of course. I don't know. It's so annoying. And I can't fight it. I cannot fight it. You'd think there'd be a way, but... That's how. Found our way. That's fucking how. Puzzles, man. This game is a lot of puzzles. Ah. Uh, sometimes you just have to persevere. I mean, there are people, right, who advocate about how they have no real care to have any success or any sort of like, you know, Twitch career. They just do it for fun. And, and that's great. And even they have like 10 times the amount. People who don't even bother to put any effort, really, like, you know, don't even have an active concerted effort to get it, get more than I get. And I'm just like, if if someone with like a, a fucking no desire whatsoever is gonna get more than me, then what the fuck chance do I have? And yes, this is gonna close in. I get that. I'm aware. The thing is, though. I actually really like the idea of just escaping with everyone potentially. Like, it kind of doesn't matter. That's what matters, having more escape chances. 
This is because of because of the incoming second enemy in a turn. I felt it was just better to sacrifice whatever happens instead of trying to beat it. And by beat it, I mean weaken it. Which is the normal route that I do when I'm trying to navigate this. You saw there, I wasn't doing any of the moves. Because technically the moves don't really do anything. Kind of. You still die. They have so much damage and power that you still die. And with the incoming turns coming in, because the second guy, I need to maximize my escape. And not make any turns but escape. That's an interesting situation. Because normally if there's just one of them, fair enough. But given that there was going to be an incoming second one, I was like, just, just try to escape. Because I saw that the, the, the chances on escape against these things are relatively high. Kind of like the chances on dealing other things too. The issue is their damage is stupid. That's, that's basically the gimmick. They have insane damage and they've traded everything else for it. They're weak to any form of ailment. They're weak to any form of thing. But they are stupidly powerful. Because, like, a lot of these dungeons and enemies have gimmicks. And you have to figure out what the gimmick is and where you are supposed to try and, like, find an opening to eke out an advantage. That's a lot about what this game is about. It's, it's a lot of, like, just thinking and, like, strategical planning. As to, okay, this is a definite weakness. Use this. So I kind of find a lot of fun about it. Sometimes it can be a little too generic about the whole idea, as in like it really is all about that. Because a lot of times it isn't just about that, there's like little fine lines. Sometimes it is very clearly uh, that way inclined. Rally order. No, I need to lay a load loader. Try my I need to rally order. Do you have a weakness? Not really. It's also kind of like why I have been pursuing things like a year of this game. Most people are like, I want my games to end, and I understand that totally. 
And if I, and if I felt there was good reason for it, I'm sure. Good reason kind of implies that you're missing out. As in, like, you could be doing better. Missing out, yes, but could be doing better. And like I said, I just don't believe that. I believe I should have that. I don't believe it exists. Which sucks, because it's very difficult sometimes. But whatever. I've gone about it way too long. No, not escape. I want these items. Preferably. You get the golden towel at least, you didn't get the other one. Hmm. I think we're coming up to our boss soon. Damascus chip. Look out. Oh, lovely. Oh, lovely. Kind of like how... The first attack was rather negated by the Roar of Triumph. Oh, come on! Uh, I got ambushed here. You have to be a piece of shit as well. Look how inverted they are to each other. God damn. Set this up deliberately. It's very irritating because now I have to do this. Not that. This. Yep. Of course it misses. That's why I had to use her thing. The first one wasn't gonna work. So we got him back. That's the important thing. We got him back. It uses up Wu Fan special, which sucks. But 
We got him back. Uh, now you can just blow it. I don't care. It's fine. Blood that. Really? I was about to heal. fight was obnoxious. Now I got just the camouflage rank. Last time I got just the other thing. <sighs> Alright, cool. Did I make a note of what this was? I don't think I did. I don't remember what it was. Damascus chip. There we go. I don't think I need this Damascus chip, so I'm pretty sure I don't. Oh, they're all healthy. Okay. Technically, I could do with healing Wufan, but I might not need to because we are healing her by walking with her ability, bracing walk. See, there's the final shortcut. Cool. Small crab is invisible wall before you pass, person makes it through. This is all good. Basically, this is this is the point where I really need to just head back. I really do need to just head back. Safe because I don't want to go through that again, that's for sure. That's very annoying. Unfortunately, there's still that fucker. No, it's fine. We're okay. No, don't do that. Yay! I mean, they aren't enemies that I'd like to fight, but. Preemptive! Preemptive! Woo! That's a bit of good luck I'll take right now. <laughs> Not gonna lie, it's a bit of good luck. Getting a preemptive right now, when I really want to leave, is very good. Another one, but we're here. So hopefully this is easier. Not that much easier, to be fair. <laughs> but, yeah. Well, actually, I should power break here. Again, attack this and low blow you. Charm I got order. She, the deer's actually weak to bind. Oh, cool, so you don't even care. Okay. It didn't do its fire storm. Which is the thing it needs to be doing if it wants to win. No circle it is. Tap order.
ろうね。No, nothing that matters. No, not getting an item kind of matters. That's why I love doing my team. What you saw there. Why is he doing attack buff in the back row for the second time in a row? If you understand why, that's what my team is entirely based about. So, you know, sustain. Mana. Health. Sustain, 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 sustain. Everybody has plenty mana, plenty health, plenty mana, plenty health, all the time. I love being able to sustain. This 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 is a group built on sustain. I can like go on for miles with this group. Because like some of the moves may look really dumb if you don't understand that it's for sustain. Because it's like, well I'm not actually using it you know, in that way. I'm not using it for the ability. I'm using it so I gain mana and I gain shit. Health and stuff. Can I sell crap? I probably can. Yeah, 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 yeah. Give me this golden plus stuff. <laughs> we need to look up some shit! Bastard sword, you bloody bastard! Sword. Nani ro munaja ba nani nani nani. You bastard. So. Uh, I only care for the bastard zone. Now we run this down. I nearly have enough for that. Is it a shield? I think it's a shield. Oh, for the fang. Uh, I want something for the other ones, so I know how many I have. Crappy dress. <laughs> I love that. It's so good. God damn it. I don't even remember what the other one was called. Golden Deer. That's the name of the actual creature. Not the name of the item it dropped. What the hell is it called? No, not that. Golden Pelt. Makes sense. Where's the golden pal? God damn it. Did I miss it in the armor? I don't know. Where is it? I wish I could search for it. There it is. I need four. Four it is. Perfect. Gold shoes. Fuck. That's insane. Fifty four, goddamn. What the hell? Fifty four MDF. Jesus.
I mean, I don't really want to use my money because I want to, um... Uh, you know, save up for the hundred hundred thing, the four ninety, the apocalypse. But man, this is good shit. Kiosk or Jana? No, I don't want Oleander. Fuck off. Did I say? <laughs> the choice is yours. <laughs> then I will also buy that. Oh, I now have two. Fuck. Okay, let's go to Jenna. I like, uh, I don't really like, but it's kind of fucked up how that little area of the labyrinth looks like a swastika. Really? Really? Fuck off, leave me alone. Sayonara. I'll take the one health. <laughs> God damn. Ambushed, really? It's in the middle of the day, like. How was I ambushed? Looks like quite a special door. Let's go here first. Let's not do that. Completely by surprise. Why am I doing this, you might ask? I have no idea. Actually, I should have done this more. So then I didn't have to use Vargo's mana. Oh, you're a woman! Oh, okay. You reach the hard labyrinth before you stand the deadly Lamia. It seems to be special for some reason. You prefer to confront the beast. But before you do, the adventure you have before appears and boldly charges forward to attack just to die. This is for my killing my friends! Ha! Despite his courage, but he's still badly injured, his bravery alone cannot defeat the vicious Lamia before him. 
The Lamia, Lamia, Lumia attack knocks him to the ground. Kind of like my flag here. Silas. The Lamia, Lumia, Lemia, Lemia, Lonia looks down on him and prepares to finish him off. You cannot let him die before your very eyes. I'm not good. Draw your weapons and fight! Woohoo! Great. You like this, um. fucking. a cappella version. Uh, you can do all this. No, not this. You can do this. Ictus Yoka. And that. Do that. Nice. But. Tail Whip? What's it, Rotata? Poison Flame, Squeeze Grip. Sinister Serpent, Snake bra Braid Snarl. A monster that awaits its end in sandy lands. It constricts its prey, then asphyxiates them. How nice. So he's basically a cobra. Man, he's basically resistant to everything. That's very annoying. Resist stun, petrify, poison, unfortunate, blind, all binds. I prefer the non, you know, thing. Monster awaits its end in sandy lands. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tail whip. I presume if you bound the tail, you can stop that. But it's resistant. Poison flame. Nice. Mm -hmm. Squeeze grip. Did it do squeeze grip? I can't remember what, what the name of the one that it did was. Oh well, whatever. I was gonna write about it in my thesis. Um, it was good. It reduces accuracy and petrifies. Oh, evil eye. That's why I couldn't remember because it wasn't even listed. Petrify, act down, all. Yay! I love missing! It's my favorite thing. You can't do shit. Well, there, then again, I suppose this would be worth doing this. I don't know if I have a chance against this thing, to be honest. 
As, uh, I mean, how come Tani's able to hit? Very not. Let me circle Paradise around here. Let's miss him. Oh, good. Oh, you hit it! Oh my god! Can I get logo? Yeah. Oh no. I thought this was bad. Apparently, it does this as well. snake literally just binds oh of course you lost my bind mm -hmm. yeah I, I want to attack that about these fucking bind snakes at all? Do I? I'll be honest, I don't think I do. I kinda like God Slasher. Well, what I could do is... Yeah. I can leave it alone. I could go here and a strength slash. Because it's more versatile. No, not that. don't like evil eye at all. I really don't like evil eye at all.
I'm gonna be attacked. We have that, good. Where does this tune come from? Originally, I mean, obviously it's Adrenaline, but I mean, wh which one is this? I know it well, but. Why do I know this? Is it because of Etrian Odyssey 4? It's probably Etrian Odyssey 4, right? Yeah, I can't win this. I don't think I can. That's not what I can do. Um, freeze attack, I need God. I love how they keep missing. It's very cool. Oh. I see. Hideous. So that's what we're dealing with. Which means this is a, this is a stabilization fight, which should make it easier. This is a stabilization fight. Definitely a stabilization fight. Yeah, okay. It's not that big a deal. Sure. Yeah, it's not that bad. It's really not. I just need to get to a point where I stabilize. That poison flame might be bad though. Really? So there's absolutely no value to doing that at all. Man. None. Okay. I need to kill this thing. The exact time. Text order here. Text order is probably really valuable. Yeah, okay. Sure. Sure. Serpent's Curse. The fuck is Serpent's Curse? Sure. Yeah, no, I don't care. Kind of. Uh... 
There's no current thing on it. Let's go look at a circle. Yeah, we're gonna need a god order. I'm gonna need uh, a tech order. God damn. This thing is annoying. This thing is like the only thing that's annoying. I suppose the fact that we're gonna eventually run out of mana is also pretty bad. But we're gonna gain resistance to all this crap if we stay alive. Maybe you should just defend. Protect order. So we need God Order, Protect Order, and Freeze, and then I need to consider what I want to do here. I do like defending here. Poison is absolutely not a problem. Strength Slash is interesting, God Slash is better. No, not that. That's Ash. Sure. Um, we have Chaos Circle up. We can try my again, sure. Yeah, yeah, this is going to be a complicated fight to work my way around. But... I think I understand how I want to go about it. Yep. That's annoying. I need to hold your count. Fine. Need breather. The mana is the issue. The mana is the issue. Chamai got slash got break. Yeah, I can't guard break. Fuck. Um... A 
I'll grab Brick here. Space myself, put on you. That. Oh no! I wish I'd land on the weak one. Yeah, we can try that. Why not? Sure. Tactical we'll needs to go back up. Reaver though. Reaver might be better. But there's two of them. Because there's two of them, I kind of like to think that. But it's her arms, so maybe I should. Maybe I should go here and attack here. And Reaver. And then that can heal the back row. Oh, you're good again. Okay, cool. I'll need you to freeze. Ah, uh, it's ugly, but I'll gamble, whatever. Quite unfortunate. Good. Sure. I kind of like defending them. Sure. Curse? Fuck. <laughs> so freeze up to six. No! Dead. What's that tail whip is destructive? Like, come on! That was such bullshit set, set of events that happened there. Those two turns, the fucking, like, Wufan and Tani getting petrified, and then the Largo's headbound. That combination, without being able to do either the Breaver on Tani or the Displace on Largo, that was just garbage. No, it was fine to those fucking two turns. Those two turns back to back are just backbreaking, fucking stupid shit. I can't win them. Like the fuck was those last two turns with the Tani and the Wufan getting petrified, and then the goddamn Logger getting the headbound before I could go. 
Rubbish. Headbinding logo is fucking awful, especially after the previous turn. Garbage. Absolutely fucking garbage. Uh, I can't win. Not, not when you do that. Now I die to fucking bind shit. Really? You're gonna, you're gonna keep being completely piece of shit. Okay. These last three turns have been dumb as heck. I can't do anything. Sure, what I'm... Can't do anything. Can't do anything. Oh, and now you're bound that way? Yeah, yeah, fuck this game. Are you kidding me? Those last three turns were abysmal. Shall we all leave? Shall I leave too? hours in the other days too. We beat the Dino Tyrant today. We did a bunch of good stuff. Those last three turns were garbage. There's nothing I can do about those. We were fine until that point. I'm gonna see you guys later. Have a good weekend. I'm gonna be streaming this Sunday. We're gonna be doing a celebration for 600 followers. Thank you for getting this channel there, and I hope to uh, entertain you soon, before I rage. I'm quitting before I rage. So, uh, yeah, I'll see you soon. Bye!